See, I knew you'd be back because you've got nothing better to do. Now you come over here and do something for your akhirah instead. Click the link below and establish the house of Allah. Get yourself a house in paradise with a superb high-level sadaqatul jariyah for yourself that will continue, inshallah. Click the link below. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? I'm here in the Muslim graveyards of Oslo. And I was walking around seeing some of the people people who have died obviously and it, you can see some of the ages of the people that have died and some of them have died as young as one in fact there was one child that was one years old and some toys were there next to the graveyard and it just shows us that you just don't know you just don't know when you're going to die or when someone you know or love is going to die Kullu nafsin maut, that every soul shall taste death we differ over so many different things as humankind, but death is not one of those things we differ upon. We are going to die. What have we prepared for death? One thing that we should prepare for death in these special moments and days is we should prepare a good afterlife for ourselves with the true belief. Because the truth of the matter is that it's not going to end here. This is not the end. This is the beginning. This is when Al Hayatul Barzakhiya starts. This is when you start a completely new life. And this is the life of the grave. And this is one stop away from Yawmul Qiyamah, from the day of judgment, and then your final abode in either heaven or hell. And we hope, and we I make dua for you and for me to go to heaven. But one way we can do that prepare good deeds, but also give in charity. And as you guys know, I've been sponsoring Islam Net which is the fastest growing and the biggest dawah organization, Islamic organizations, Muslim civil rights organization in the whole of Scandinavia. I think it's a fantastic project to, to fund and to invest in and to donate to. And I just want to leave you with one ayah of the Quran, which is really powerful and striking and tells you why it's so important to donate to causes like this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, by the Audhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, وَأَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقَنَاكُمْ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ أَحَدَكُمُ الْمَوْتُ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ أَحَدَكُمُ الْمَوْتُ فَيَقُولَ رَبِّ لَوْلَا أَخَّرْتَنِي لَوْلَا أَخَّرْتَنِي إِلَى أَجَلٍ قَرِيبٍ فَأَصَّدَّقَ فَأَصَّدَّقَ وَأَكُمْ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ وَلَنْ يُؤَخِّرَ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلُهَا وَاللَّهُ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ That spend from what Allah has provided you before death come to one of you and you say Why? Oh Allah, if only you had given me some more time, I would have given charity. Say that again, I would have given charity. It doesn't say this one, doesn't say it. it says charity. I would have given charity. We would be in a state of regret. And Allah says the person will be saying, I would be given charity and I would have been one of the righteous ones. And then look at this next part of the ayah, look at this next ja'a That Allah does not delay death for a person if his time has come. Whether the person died like this child over here at one years old, or whether that person over there at 70 years old. If it's your time, it's your time. And you don't know when your time is going to be, but Allah he knows when the time is going to be, and it's the right time. It's, do you think it's the wrong time? No, it was the right time. وَاللَّهُ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْبَلُونَ And as Allah is all aware of what you do. So instead of facing that regret, click the link below and donate now.